Hello guys and welcome to another Anki add-on guide video. One of the most powerful features in Anki is its ability to embed a large number of different media types, the most important of which of course are images. And today we will be looking at four different add-ons that can greatly enhance the way in which you work with images in Anki. The four add-ons I want to cover are the image resizer add-on, the maximum image height add-on, the edit audio and images add-on and the refresh media references add-on. Let's start with the image resizer. Now, if you're a regular user of uh, different media types and images in Anki, you'll probably be faced with the issue of your media collection growing and growing at an everlasting pace. And if you're using Anki for several years, then it's not uncommon for your media collection to reach several hundred megabytes of size. And that's maybe not as important if you're just using Anki on the desktop, but if you're using it on a mobile phone or Anki on, as, with Anki Droid or Anki Mobile, then that can be quite an issue because phones usually don't have that much space. So this add-on right here, the Image Resizer add-on, allows you to change in the way how um, images are pasted into Anki. By default, the add-on is active, so for that reason I will quickly disable it just to demonstrate how Anki behaves normally. So, by default, when adding an image like this one, which is pretty large, Anki will paste it in in its regular size. And as you can see, this is quite huge. For an image like this, it's not uncommon for it to take up up to a megabyte or something like that of file space. And that can be an issue, issue as I've said before, not only because of the space it takes up, but also because it will make you syncing slower, etc. And this is exactly where the add-on comes in. If I activate it by going into the settings again, you'll now see that Anki will behave differently. Instead of pasting in the image in its original size, it will get resized automatically to a smaller size, like this one right here. You can customize how this is performed, how this resizing is performed by going into the settings. There are multiple different options. You can change how, uh, which width to use, which height. You can also change how the image is scaled, if it's scaled by its height, its width, or whether it should be uh, scaled by either of these while maximizing um, its uh, dimension and keeping the aspect ratio. Another thing you can do with this add-on is to disable the automatic resizing. So by default the add-on will just resize any type of image that you paste into Anki, but you might not want to do that. And in that case what you can do is you can just deactivate this option and then use the hotkey that is supplied right here, which can also be customized, which is quite great. Okay, let's go over to the second add-on, which is similar to this, to this, but not identical. And that is the maximum image height, image height in the editor add-on. So while the first one, the image resizer add-on, allows you to actually change images in their size, this one is mostly about how images are displayed. So even with when adding a huge image into Anki, and even if that's something that you want to do, if, if it's important to you that the image is preserved in its original size, you might still find that um, it can be quite cumbersome to work with, with larger images in Anki, simply because they take up a lot of space when editing your, card, your cards in the editor. So in here, for instance, in this example, you see that this field alone with, it, with the image, image inside of it takes up almost half of the space of the editor on this uh, small notebook screen. And that's, that can be quite uh, annoying when working with uh, larger cards and with a lot of images on them. And that's exactly where the maximum images height add-on comes in. I will quickly install it just to demonstrate what will change. As usual with these add-ons, you just have to paste in the add-on code and restart Anki. And um, as you'll see now, the images will be resized to a smaller size inside the editor. And um, again, as I've said before, the image isn't actually resized in your media collection. That means the image is still present in its original size. The only thing that this add-on changes is the way in which the image is presented to you, just so that you have more space when editing your notes, for instance. If you're familiar with image occlusion, you'll know that this feature is integrated into that add-on by default, but it only applies to the image occlusion node type. If you want this to be available for all of your nodes and uh, regardless of the node type, then make sure to check this add-on out. It's a great help, as I've said before, when working with a lot of images and especially with larger images. Okay, let's go over to the next add-on, and that is the Edit Audio 
and images add-on. This one is not about adding cards um, and adding images but rather about editing existing images. To demonstrate this I will quickly add a new node with an image in, on it like this one for instance and um, the way you would normally edit an image in Anki is quite cumbersome. You would have to head into the media collection and then find the right image. So in this case for instance I would have to navigate navigate to the um, add-on direct the uh, to Anki's directory, and in there, I would then have to find the correct image. I would usually do this by simply going into the editor, going to Control Shift X to display the HTML code, and then finding that uh, specific file name inside of the folder. So um, as you can probably tell, it's quite a lot of effort to go through, and that's where the add-on comes in. It allows you to edit cards simply, or rather edit images on your cards, simply by clicking on this button up here, or by using a number of different hotkeys which are explained in the add-on description. Now unfortunately, this add-on does not work on Linux, so I won't be able to demonstrate its actual use, but it's pretty easy to um, use in general, so if you're on Windows and Mac, just have to install it, use either the button up here or one of the hotkeys, and your images or sound files as well will open up in an external app for you to edit. You can also customize which application to use to edit your images or sound files, once again simply by going into the source code of the add-on, then finding the relevant configuration section, which in this case is somewhere down here, and then just changing these different variables de depending on uh, which operating system you're using. Uh, for instance, you could uh, point the Windows Edit um, variable to Paint so that you can add simple graphics to your images, for instance. Okay, that's as far as this add-on is concerned. Great way to edit your images inside of Anki. The last add-on is related to this, to the um, to re editing images. Um, by default, when changing a media file, Anki will not update that references out that reference automatically. So to demonstrate this, I will edit this image right here by going into an external app like this one. And um, in this case, let's just add some simple annotations to the image. There we go. Save it. And yeah, as you can see, as we can confirm in here, the images, the, the changes to the image have been saved. But if we go back into Anki and try to invoke the card again, you'll see that the images, that the changes have not been transferred to Anki. So Anki is still using an old representation of that image. In order to change this, in order for, up, for Anki to update the cache, by default what you would have to do is to just restart the app. But if you're editing images regularly, then this can quite get quite cumbersome. And for this specific use case, I've written this Refresh Media References add-on. It's very easy to use. You just have to go into Tools and click on Refresh Media. And doing that will then automatically refresh all of the image files and apply all of the changes that you might have performed while using Anki. If you're using the Edit Audio Images add-on, you will not have to install my add-on because it's uh, integrated in here by default, which is quite inconvenient. The other thing this add-on does, which can also be useful, is that it, uh, um, it prompts Anki to resync your co collection, your media collection, when performing the next synchronization. So by default, Anki is not capable of identifying changes to image files and will only sync them once you add an additional file to your collection or remove an existing one. But by do using this add-on, you can just prompt Anki to also sync the changes that you might have performed to your image files in the interim. Alright guys, I think that's as far as this video is concerned. I hope you enjoyed this, uh, these quick demonstrations. Once again, thanks for watching. I hope to see you soon in one of the next videos. Until then, good luck with your studies. Bye.